everybody welcome back to the platform this is another side video we are posted right here at gray city phase three the latest video that we posted we gave you guys um a very great news regarding the perimeter fence wall and the block factory that we are starting right here at gray city phase three and today we are back to give you updates on it i am joined by engineer despond and mr seth and we're going to be speaking on the progress that we have made what is actually going to it we'll be explaining the materials it's going to be a fully packed video so let me start say how are you doing today very well welcome back to the site thank you um i can see you are enjoying the sun yes it's very bright today <laughs> <laughs> this is vitamin what d z something well the doctors can say it we don't know <laughs> I, I think vitamin d is the early early morning, morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay yeah. i think it's all good because every everything every has to offer is absolutely amazing yeah. yes so when i came the block factory was operating but this wall wasn't here we only spoke to the demarcations and where they will see it but today i actually see the blocks are up yeah how has the progress been so far well it's been it's been okay um i think the weather is fairly okay for works now right we're not having the rains as we we're having between june july mm -hmm. so it's, it's fairly okay we started with the demarcations as you saw the last time right so it's been it's been fairly okay because the weather has been good so yeah. we are able to cover much right. of what we are expected to do so that's in fact that's what i normally love up to walk, to walk to around town. yes so i'm that's, not going to lie when you told me um we have till December. I thought maybe you will start maybe somewhere around September. But I came here and I saw the walls and I'm like, yeah, prioritize results. That Absolutely. is amazing. Absolutely. Wow. And and I always want to use these opportunities to be able to explain a few things because right. sometimes you get the feedback that's coming from clients. Um, we are dealing with people who, who knows very little about construction. Right. So they are particular about what is happening. You see this wall like this? Yeah. If I should exert pressure, mm -hmm. it's going to fall. Okay. It doesn't mean that the wall is not good. Mm -hmm. The walls are what I call infill. Okay, what does that mean? What it means, like I've always been explaining, mm -hmm. if your bones are taken off your body, right. what happens? You fall. Yeah. Like you, you virtually be like water over here. Mm -hmm. So these walls are going to be held by the pillars. Okay. So without the casting of the pillars, mm -hmm. it's very easy for anybody to just not the wall and it will collapse okay. so we are yet to have the walls that the uh, okay. columns down okay. number two because of the vast nature of the wall mm -hmm. we are going to do another thing we call tie beams okay so we want the wall to hold this part join this one join that one so it becomes a unit right. i always tell you if i put Just my like hand here yeah. yeah i can yeah. be able to rest my hand throughout this entire video yeah. and i won't feel any pain mm -hmm. but if i do this after a while, I will begin to feel some pain over yeah. here. So the tie beam is supposed to tie all of them together mm -hmm. and hold the infill that we have for the wall to be able to uh, withstand the test of time. I see. That is amazing. Yeah. And just like we said initially, it's going to go all round so the perimeter. So in your intro, you missed something. Let's get here. Let me show you something. Okay. We are doing three things at the same time. Right. The perimeter fence wall, mm -hmm. the green part, mm -hmm and the security gate. that gate oh first. yes that's true so the security gate is actually going to be at this point. okay and it's going to be a dual carriage road okay so we'll have the in mm -hmm. and the out here out. and a security post at the middle okay the next time you come here you will see the demarcation and those works also starting okay now what is happening is that we have taken this part of the wall to comment. If you look at it critically, it's going this way, supposed to end at the other wall over there. Okay. Currently, we are managing this road. We are going to close that road because we want this the, the security here to be very tight. Right. So anybody who is going to go in or out of the estate That's can only here. use this place. Right. There will be no entry, no exit, save this place so that um, client building will be able to uh, know that their materials are secured right. because we don't in fact as we speak today let me announce we have two securities for day two securities for night wow so we have solar 
powered lights around. That's one of the, uh, the, the block, the block factory. factory. So we are able to even work deep into the night. Okay. They are always fair patrol in the exactly. entire place. And one more thing, I guess you're going to speak to it. Mm -hmm. We are actually going to bring other machines because uh, what we have seen. So let me explain this. The one who asks, why are we uh, molding our own blocks? Right. Like I mentioned the last time, blocks are supposed to go through vibration. Mm -hmm. Vibration means that we are talking about loose material mm -hmm. that is there, and we are using quarry dust. Mm -hmm. We want the quarry dust to sit in very well, and then we want it to be well vibrated so that the blocks will be as solid as possible. As possible. Okay. It means that the water cement ratio of the block mm -hmm. should be adequate. Right. Now, when we are outsourcing the blocks, mm -hmm. we don't have control over the blocks. Right. Once you go, you test one, two, three blocks, they are okay, you tell yourself it's good, let's go. But once we are producing ourselves, we know the quantum, the quantity we are getting per bag, yeah. we know whatever we are checking and we are able to do it. Okay. What's the oh. good news for the blocks? Okay, so um, to, before I even get to that, yeah. now when we did the first video, when we announced initially that we we're going to have the block factory, I mean, we didn't just say it, we, we acted. We came to show clients what was going on. Yeah. And after the, the video we put out there, we've had a lot of them now it's interesting to know that it's not just our clients that have even been asking for blocks from us other people other people who are not even our clients are requesting amazing. that we produce blocks for them mm -hmm. and that's also because you know we do get complaints of um, inferior quality yeah. of blocks um, for even clients that are not uh, we were not producing the blocks for them so we've we've taken time to reflect on on this concern and you know Royal Kingdom Estate we are all about meeting solutions yeah. we are all about providing solutions mm -hmm. meeting clients at the point of what their needs so we've decided to increase the production of the blocks mm -hmm. and um, we are actually looking at um, getting more machines industrial mm -hmm. machines mm -hmm. so that we can produce as much as 10,000 blocks per day per day yeah. per day wow yes 10,000 blocks Per day and the good news is that now when you do your market research or survey you realize that there's a general price out there mm -hmm. but what we are doing as a company is that initially we were even thinking of producing just for our clients right. because of uh, the, the kind of quality service we want to provide for them now we've gone a a step beyond that mm -hmm. to say that if you go on the market yeah. and the market says the price is one CD mm -hmm. for a unit of block, Royal Kingdom Estate is saying that we are going to offer discounted prices to our customers, to wow. our clients. You need to clap for us. That is amazing. <laughs> yes, that, that is what we want to do because mm -hmm. like we always say, it's not just about the transaction, mm -hmm. it's about value. Okay right and that that is what we are most concerned about so when you come to the t t terrain and then you make your market uh, survey or research and you find out that it's one cd country i cannot miss it as a customer mm -hmm. you are going to offer you discounted prices and note we offering discounted prices that's normally we are going to offer inferior yes blocks I was, of quality I was about to ask yes the engineer that because you're speaking on the fact that we are you know, making sure that we produce everything to the highest quality and be able to control um, everything when it comes to making of the materials. And our head marketer is now saying that we're going to offer discounts. Where is the correlation and how, how can we push this for clients to be able to trust that the materials that we're putting up is 100% quality? So we are not, we don't joke with our QC, that is our quality control measures that we have yeah. here at Rock University. So what is happening is, as I always tell people, um, there, there is always this calculation we do in construction. Yeah. We will tell you if more, less divide. Mm -hmm. If less, more, more divide. divide. What does it mean? Since we are producing in huge quantities, uh -huh. now, and you are able to sell quicker, mm -hmm. we are saying that, well, if you have to make a profit of, let's say, 20 pesos, mm -hmm. we are reducing it to 10 pesos. Okay just to be able to save our clients mm -hmm. because what is happening is you see the models that we have uh, as a company as a brand we have decided to help our clients mm -hmm. that's what we're doing putting up the perimeter fence wall yeah. exclusively for phase three 
we are also working on the green pack, I'll speak to you shortly, yeah. uh, at our own cost and we are going to replicate same, when I say same, the green pack on all the phases that we have. Okay. Now, what we are doing is that in all this, what are we seeking to achieve? To ensure that the clients that we are managing or who have bought products from us mm. will always uh, feel comfortable and work with us. Right. So it's not always about profit. Mm -hmm. It's about value. Right. So we check the value and we also value relationship mm -hmm. such that we are able to foster the unity that we have. We agree that as a human society, one way or the other, sometimes we may disagree and agree on few things. Yeah. However, one of the core things we are looking at is to not relent on the relationship that we have. Mm -hmm. We cannot produce less quality blood. Let me tell you why. You see what is happening here? Yeah. We are taking the blocks directly from the factory, Block factory and we are using them here. Mm -hmm. If somebody is also coming to buy, they are also picking from the same place. We are not having anything exclusive for Royal Kingdoms and, and for other clients. So if on. we are producing inferior quality, we are also going to be using the same thing. Don't forget, right. we are not only doing this, we are also building for clients. Mm -hmm. We have their videos being shared with them. Mm -hmm. They are checking. They have their uh, own friends, families, colleagues coming to check, check on what well. we are doing. Yeah. So we need to be able to uh, check that our quality control measures are always in place. So I believe very well that all of our clients and our audience in general are very, very grateful for the fact that we're taking some of these factors into consideration and offering um, solutions to them. So we've tackled the matter of blocks. Are there any other materials that Royal Kingdom Estates is looking to, you know, uh, venture into providing for clients that are looking to build and even the general public as a whole? Well, so currently, I mean, the industrial machine we are looking to get for the block factory, which mm -hmm. is ideally proposed to be a phase one. Right. We are also looking at, so there's another good news or surprise. We are looking at building a hardware factory, okay. I should put it that way. Yeah. So the hardware factory is going to um, be a place where we we'll keep all our materials. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Desmond spoke about um, security, yeah. right? Um, making sure our clients' materials are safe. Now it's the same thing that's going to be for phase one. And we are also looking at even cement production. Oh. Yeah, that is also another thing that we are looking at uh, get, getting into. So we are going to put all these measures in place, mm -hmm. you know, going to have our staff produce them, keep them there, produce them for the clients, make sure they are getting the best of materials to build with. They can also have be rest assured mm -hmm. that their materials, their building materials, whatever they are using to work, their tools, they are also safe with where I can domestic. it. So it also tells you how important um, expansion mm -hmm. when it comes to business is important to us um, also security mm -hmm. now we can't stress on this enough because you mentioned you, you, when you look at the perimeter fence wall he spoke about security as yeah. well security is of utmost priority to us yeah. right and it's not just about purchasing the land and even building beyond that is security yeah. after you've built your land with a peace of mind that you've acquired or mm -hmm. what is the next step yeah what is the next thing you are really concerned about security, security right. and we won't even wait for you to finish your house before we put the security measures mm -hmm. in place we right from the beginning we we, we consider that so these have come as a result of the usual concerns that we, we have received yeah. like i said earlier we sit down. Now, I want our client to know that there's no feedback that we don't reflect on. Right. Whether positive or negative. Or negative. In fact, that is one of the best ways to derive solutions. Mm -hmm. If we were, um, we were a product, I would have said all our products are user-friendly. Right. All our solutions are user-generated. Mm -hmm. So you, the client, whatever feedback you give to us, we work with it mm -hmm. and then we come back to you. So we don't necessarily impose on them. Mm -hmm. Ingenuity is one of our values where we are creative, we are innovative, but most importantly, yeah. is being user-friendly and that is providing user-generated solutions. So we derive them as a result of your feedback. So keep reaching out to us yeah. tell your, your people to keep coming back Please. to us the feedback we really appreciate the comments everything that you've been leaving on our socials calling in all the concerns we're grabbing all of them and i love the fact that we've adopted one-stop shop so when we say we are one-stop shop mm -hmm. now i don't think we have to sound this enough because now our works speak for itself exactly. everything we are doing i mean 
I it's mean, all plain exactly and colored for people to witness <laughs> yes and the reason why we're always on site taking these videos is to you know share that transparency with yes. everybody that you know spend their time watching our videos you know trust us with their property acquisition and everything yeah. now um engineer would you say that all of these projects that we have going the perimeter fence wall the green park it's all to you know enable our clients to feel like they can actually come and put up their properties here and live here without any problems because we already have clients yeah. that have completed their properties and they're living here what i would say is that um we sign contracts with every client mm. that we have mm. and we have a mandate as a company mm. to keep to our side of the bargain yeah our clients as well uh, per expectation is that they are also supposed to keep their part of the bargain. Yeah. Why do you have to build today? Because it's cheaper to build today. Uh -huh. One of the things we all know is that the city to the dollar, inflation yes. and all. So the right time to build is now. Mm -hmm. And you see, you'll be amazed. The last week when you were here, you didn't see this wall here. No. Now, the whole place has changed. Now, when you are even driving, previously you can just drive and drive through any of these exactly. places. You can no longer do the same any longer. Now there is a demarcation. Yeah. In the same way, when you start building, there is a feel mm -hmm. where you come to site, you see your project and you are happy about it. So we also expect that our clients will also emulate the same, do the same for us all to be able to move together. Amazing, yeah. that's wonderful. I think we can go ahead and then visit the block factory yeah. and then see the updates and the good work that is being done on that front as well. Let's trade the quality of blocks that we have here. Okay. Throw it up and let it fall down. Nothing happens to it. Wow. Bring a five inch block as well. Okay. Throw it also down. That's the quality of blocks. And let me show you something here. Let the cameras come closer. Okay. I think we could see from here. You see what is happening? Yeah. You can see there was a cement ratio over here. Mm -hmm. The blocks are well vibrated, such that you can even see from here the cement ratio that is coming out of the blocks. Right. So we make sure that the blocks are of the highest quality. Mm, that is amazing. When it's molded like this, usually Absolutely. how long does it take before it's fully dried to go into production? So it depends on the weather. Okay. If we have good weather, and what, what happens is that there's another aspect that we call curing. Yeah. Um, once the blocks are molded and uh, we are exposing them to the sun, the rate at which the sun is going to take out the water from it mm -hmm. is, is great. So getting to the wee of the night, mm -hmm. around five, six or about, we have to be able to get water on all the blocks. Then the following day, setting has started. Okay. Then we take out all the pallets and then we turn the blocks upside down for them to be able to also start undergoing uh, other processes that is the same curing okay. for it to be able to dry adequately. Okay. In the morning as well, we give it water. In the evening, within three days, we should have blocks that we can be able to use. I see. The yes. same applies for the pillars as well? Absolutely. Okay. Oh, that is amazing, Mr. Seth. So, I mean, what I would say to probably wrap everything up is yeah. with what engineer already said about building today mm -hmm. is more affordable right yeah now i am speaking particularly to those who own plot here mm -hmm. who haven't started their projects mm -hmm. that they need to take advantage of the measures we are putting in place yeah. because now you don't even have to think so much about blocks mm -hmm. if it comes to um, um storing or keeping your materials security has got you covered so i don't know why why or what else would be the reason you would want to postpone commencing your project? Yeah. I mean, we went to the Budleys, mm -hmm. you've seen their beautiful house, mm -hmm. you've seen the other projects that are coming up over yeah. here. And this will be the most ideal time for anyone who has a plot here to start their project. You need to come together because look at the initiatives. Mm -hmm. Very soon, things are going to, I mean, prices are always escalating. Mm -hmm. When it, from what mr desmond said which is very true i mean we all know inflation and all these things so the best time they say the best time to buy a house is now is yeah. it and it's the same thing with starting the project once you've acquired your land and the good thing is that you're not even owning a plot at a place where there's a whole today there's this tomorrow there's that there are no issues no issues whatsoever. no litigation mm -hmm. no problems peace of mind what else 
once you have the the funds to move even if you don't have everything i mean you could start something it will still save you yeah. some some funds so this is particularly to those who own plot here i'm not speaking to everyone mm -hmm. for this it is to those who own plot here the same will go for phase two the same will go for phase, phase one. one yeah take advantage of the measures that we have put in place because everything we are doing is for you mm -hmm. so please take advantage of that and commence your project today everything has been perfectly said and well put together for your understanding and like we always say we still have plots that are selling on this particular development and we have plots selling at the view and then black star village as well if you like what you're seeing here if you want to be a part of the gray city family if you want to live in this beautiful development look at the green park we have look at the perimeter fence wall look at the weather just contact us on all of our channels share the good news with all your friends and family and let's all move together accordingly stay glued to the platform we'll be back with more content